Okay, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to create this layout using HTML and CSS. Okay, there's a couple things you need to understand. First of all, this container can, is going to take up, it's going to have a width of 100% of the page. Actually, we'll do like 90. So we're going to leave a little area here and a little area here for um, space. So what's going to happen is, so this right here, right, this, oops, this area here, this is going to represent 90% of the page. Okay, so that's going to be 90%. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to put on a left margin here of 5 and a right margin of 5. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a margin here. This obviously isn't drawn to scale of 5%. And what's nice is a, a nice way to, to center a page. It's not, you know, for, for your folks who are real CSS hardcore programmers, this isn't probably the, the most clever way to do it, but it's an easy way to do it. So that's always good. So that's 5%. So follow me here. This is 90. This, this white area represents our whole page. And this is 5, and this is 5. So 90 plus 5 plus 5 is 100. Good. It takes up 100% of our page. Now, conversely, the height is going to be 90. And then we're going to have a top and a bottom border of 5. So it's going to be 90 plus 5 plus 5 is 100. So this container is going to be centered on your page. Now, how are these going to work? <clears throat> well, the, the container itself is going to take up, like I said, 90%. Pretend now the container is a separate page. Okay, we have the left column, the middle column, and the right column. Let's look at their, their margins, or their widths, rather. This width here, whoops, is 30, all right? This width is 25, and this width is 25. So 30 plus 25 plus 25 is 80, all right? 50 plus 30 is 80. Now we have margin left here, which is 5, and a margin right. So that's 90. Then here we just have a margin right. That's 95. And here we have a margin right. That's 100. Now why don't we need the margin left as well? Well, this one has a margin right. Left column has a margin right. So that means there's already a space of 5% here. So if we were to put a margin left like we did here, if we were to take this margin left and put it over here, that would mean that this area in here would be 10 pixels wide. We don't want that. We want it to be, I mean, 10% wide. We want it 5%. That's why we don't need the margin lefts here. All right, these are fine. Um, why do we need a margin left in the left column for? Well, you need a margin left in the left column because the initial column here, this initial left column, has to get kicked off the side of the container. If I were to leave out this margin left, what would happen is this left column, this, this line would be flush against the side of the container. And I don't want that. So again, let's just double check that this is right. Okay, we have the width is 30 plus 25. So that's 50, 80. Margin left is 5. That's 85. Margin right is 5. That's 90. Margin right is 5. That's 95 and 100. That's good. How about the top and bottom? Well, it's 5 up here and 5 down there, top and bottom, right? Why do we need the top and bottom in all of them? Well, it's because there's only one column here. There's nothing on top or below that. If there was, you'd have to take those into account. And we said that if we look at the height is 90%. So the height of this left column takes up 90% of the container. And then that means the top margin is 5% and the bottom margin is 5%. That means that 90 plus 5 up here and 5 down there is 100. Perfect. So everything's all set up. Now the only thing is, how do we code all this? Well, we're going to start out with, these things are going to be IDs. So we're going to write a CSS with a container ID, a left call, a middle call, and a right call ID. Right? But before we do that, we're just going to write the HTML. So I just want you to go ahead and write the HTML. Go ahead and create a folder in your, in your directory called, we'll call this CSS3callVid. 3call video, okay? And um, we're going to save everything there. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to link to something called my style. We're going to call this, instead of my, yeah, you can call it my style. That's fine. 
So what this does creates an HTML document. In the header, you link to an external style sheet. Have we created that yet? No, we have to do that. And then you close the header and start the body. This is where I'm going to start typing. Just make sure that when you save the uh, CSS, it's called my style. Okay, the first thing we have to do is we have to say div id equals container. All right, just like that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put the left column inside the container ID. So I am not going to uh, close the container. I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to put div ID equals, and uh, you guessed it, left. This is called sentence capitalization. The first letter is going to be lowercase, and whenever we get to the second word, we're always going to capitalize it. So you could call it left call or C-O-L-U-M-N. I'm going to just call it left call so I don't make any spelling mistakes. Okay? And we're going to close off the div tag because there's nothing in here. We could do the same thing like we did for the container and put other columns in here. We're not doing that. I'm just going to be a little lazy here and I'm going to copy this. Hit Control C on my keyboard to copy. Enter and tab and Control V. Enter and tab and Control V. And I'm just going to change this to left call. This would be middle call. And this one would be um, right call. All right, there you go. And you'll probably want to change this. This is the middle call. And this is the right call. OK, now let's go ahead and close the container. So that's it. Basically, we're just putting three, three um, boxes inside the container box. Why do you need the container box? Well, you need the container box so we could center this entire page within the web page. And using a container box makes your life a lot easier. That's why. OK, that's all you do. Let's close off the body. And let's go ahead and close off the HTML. And let's go ahead and save our document. File, save as. Again, I'm going to go and save it in my the folder I just made on my desktop. I'm going to arrange by modified. So sort by modified. And CSS3 call video. I'm going to just call this, go to all files. And I'm going to call this um, layout video dot html and go ahead and save it now if you were to open this up right it doesn't do anything because we haven't made the styles yet so let's go ahead and make those styles now okay um, pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and open up a new notepad document. We could go here. And I'm going to right click and go new text document. I'm going to save that as something else anyway. So let's go ahead and, and make our rules. Pound container. Or hashtag, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, what we're going to put is we're going to put the uh, width as 90%. Like we said before, remember? the These two and the 90% width on the container, right? This 90% plus the 5 and 5 makes 100. So we have to also do the margin left is 5%. And then the margin right is 5%. The better thing, percents are nice to use because they change dynamically with the page. <clears throat> There's something called reactionary CSS, which could change a whole layout based on the width of the page, but I'm not going to teach you that right now. And then we need the height at, um, let's do the height at 90% as well. And then we'll do margin top at 90%. No, just kidding. 5%. And then margin 
bottom at 5%. Um, we could put a color too. Mm, we'll make it, I don't know, yellow. So we have our margin. We put our size. I'm going to put a little space just to make it nice and pretty here and so you can see what's going on. So that's the width business. That's the height business. So 90 plus 5 plus 5 is 100. 90 plus 5 plus 5 is 100. Background color yellow. Okay, we're good there. Now, you could go ahead and see what you just did. So if I go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call it, I think it was My Style. So we're going to go to All Files, My Style.CSS. Okay, go ahead and save it. Let's just double check our HTML file. My, okay, good. So now when we run this, let's go ahead and open this with Chrome. Good. So we have our, you know, our centered rectangle, which is perfect. This is exactly what you want. Okay, now we have to continue with our styles. Let's go ahead and do the pound or hashtag <clears throat> left call. And um, I'm just basically going to type in all this stuff. Right? I can't really select that from here because it's a picture. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and type it right off there. Margin left. First, I'll do the width. Width is 90%. All right. Oh, 30%, rather. Sorry. 30%. We're actually going to make this 25%. We're going to make this one smaller. And then we're going to put the... It won't affect the margin. So margin left, 5%. Margin right at 5%. Now we're going to put the margin top at 5%. And we should put the height as well here. Height at uh, 90%. Okay. Meaning why? Well, this is this height is going to be 90. So it's going to take up 90% of the container. Plus 5, plus 5 is 100. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Control C. Control V. And obviously it's not top. That would be margin bottom. Okay, so 90 plus 5 plus 5 is 100. You can't do that here. 25 plus 5 plus 5, well, that's 35. When I add the rest of this up, it better be equal, okay? And let's put some color in. Background color. Um, green, I guess, is good. Make sure you float left. It's actually extremely important. Let me explain what float left does. Um, when you float left, everything gets knocked over to the left, right? It just keeps getting knocked over on the same line. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, you could think of it as like cookies being smushed in a tray or something. And then when there's no more room, well, if it was a cookie, it would get crumbled. But on our page, it would get pushed to the next line. That's why these margins, like the left and right and the width, like for example, 30 plus 5 plus, so it's 40 plus... 35 plus 35. Okay, that's 100. You want because if it goes over 100, the box will go to the next line. So float left just makes makes everything go in one line from left to right. That's all it does until it runs out of room. It's really it's actually pretty simple. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and copy this. Control C on my keyboard, Control V, and I'm gonna rename this one right call. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to change this width to 30, and I'm going to remember I have to on the middle call. I should have to call that middle call, and uh, remember it doesn't need a margin left because because of this one already has a margin right. So I'm going to get rid of the left margin here. Let me just explain that one more time. This has a margin here. This left call has a right margin of 5%. That means the middle call is already being pushed off the left call because of the margin. So it doesn't need it. It doesn't need like a double margin. 
it would mean that this area would be 10% if I had a left margin here of 5 and a right margin there of 5. We don't want that. Okay, so that's that. This is going to stay the same. Let's just change the color to orange, I guess. That is my favorite color. Maybe I'll ask it as a question. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to call this right call. And um, I'm going to make this 25. And yeah, that's it. This should do it. I'm just going to change it from orange to how about, I don't know, pink. All right. There we go. That's it. Container left call, right call, middle call. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's open this with Chrome. And there you go. The only thing is, it doesn't look like it was the bottom margin was working properly. The top margin works good, so let's take a look. Let's try making, oh, that's absolute. Let's try making this 80 then. Height is 80%. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that's absolute. It doesn't, um, there you go. Let me explain why that didn't work. Since this is 90% of our page, if you look here, right, it says any of these left calls, you said that, well, the height can't be 90. Why? Because the container's height is 90. So that would mean that the left call and the container would both be 90% of the page. This isn't relative to, to here. So you have to make sure it's relative to actual the container itself. So you're only working with 90%, right? You're not working with, like, if, for example, if the container was 50% and I wanted to get this in the middle, I'd have to put the height at 40% and put the top and bottom margins at 10%, and, and that'll do it. So there you go. So this is the code. You can pause the video if you didn't get a chance. And um, let's see.